What's up, you guys? So in this video, I wanted to talk about Miss Sanaa Lathan. Sanaa Lathan is starring in a new movie called The Supremes at Earl's All You Can Eat. And she's playing an alcoholic in the movie. So in the press for her new movie, she's been talking about her own struggles with alcohol. And she said that she used to self-medicate with alcohol. But she stopped drinking in 2018, which coincides with the time that Tiffany Haddish accused her of biting and Beyonce. <laughs> so we're going to get into that in this video. So now Lathan stop drinking after those accusations of biting Beyonce. If this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe to this channel or if you just haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and everyone click the thumbs up button. All right, you guys. So in her new movie, The Supremes at Earl's All You Can Eat, so now Lathan is playing the character of Barbara Jean, who is an alcoholic. And she calls her a woman in pain that's self-medicating. And she said for her, playing that role felt cathartic. And she said, quote, there was a period in my life where I was using alcohol as a self-medication. Now, she previously told people that she quit drinking in 2018. That was after those accusations, if you put two and two together. And she said, quote, navigating life as a woman, as a Black woman in Hollywood, is not for the faint of heart. And people cope in different ways. She said it was never an everyday thing, but it was, if I'm going out, I'm drinking more than I should. And that matches, <laughs> that matches what Tiffany Haddish said about her, that she was turned up at some party they were at, and she was talking to Jay-Z a little too close, and Beyonce confronted her, and she ended up biting Beyonce. <laughs> So it does sound like she was drinking more than she should. And y'all keep in mind that Tiffany Haddish did confirm that it was Sanaa Lathan. She confirmed to The Hollywood Reporter that, yes, it was Sanaa. Since going alcohol free, Sanaa's career has included producing and starring in Napoli Ever After, earning her first ever Emmy nomination for a guest role and directing and leading the 2022 hit on the come up. And she says that her success in the last six years is not a coincidence. She said, quote, I do believe that I would have never been able to direct a major studio movie if I hadn't stopped. There are things that I'm doing in my life now that I don't think I would have been able to sustain. And I definitely understand what she's saying. If she's kind of like either always drunk or always hung over, then it's a lot that she wouldn't be able to sustain. She also said she did an episode of Finding Your Roots. And she said, quote, I didn't know this, but I found out that there are a couple of generations of people who had died from alcoholism in my lineage. And my father broke the cycle for himself. And what a blessing for me to be able to see that. So when it was time, I was like, yeah, this is possible. And I stopped drinking. And again, this was in 2018 when those accusations came out of her doing too much at a party with Beyonce. So let's just flash back to that year when this all came out. I knew yesterday that when Sanaa Lathan denied biting Beyonce that she was lying. I made a video of Sanaa and Sarah Foster denying that they were the one that bit Beyonce. So click the link to watch that video if you need to catch up. But yesterday Sanaa tweeted, y'all are funny. Under no circumstances did I bite Beyonce. And if I did it, it would have been a love bite. And I knew as soon as I saw the part, if I did it, that she did it. Anytime someone makes up scenarios like if I did it, they usually are the one that did it. OJ Simpson is a prime example of that. Well, today, sources close to Tiffany Haddish have shared with TMZ that Tiffany confirmed to them that it was definitely Sanaa Lathan. TMZ reports, multiple sources tell TMZ Tiffany Haddish has told multiple people that the culprit is Sanaa. One source said it was not an aggressive bite. It was playful and non-invasive, but still caught Beyonce off guard. The story goes, Sanaa was talking to Jay in a way that made Beyonce uncomfortable. Beyonce went over to Sanaa, who brushed off any insinuation of inappropriate conduct and then gave her a jokey bite. Tiffany told Beyonce she was gonna kick Sanaa's behind, but Beyonce told her to let it go. So now probably feels like it's okay to flirt with Jay-Z because he mentioned her name in his song Lucifer, where he says flyer than Sanaa Lathan. So she knows that he thinks she's attractive, but still Sanaa, you gotta do better. 
You cannot get high and then flirt with the husband and bite the wife when she confronts you. You cannot do that, Sanaa. In the latest episode of Red Table Talks, which premiered today, Jada Pinkett Smith sat down with none other than her friend Tiffany Haddish. And although Jada and Tiffany already became friends when they filmed Girls Trip together, Tiffany Haddish filled Jada in on some interesting aspects of her life that Jada didn't know about. And during the conversation, Tiffany Haddish also revealed that Sanaa Lathan, who Tiffany confirmed to The Hollywood Reporter as a person who bit Beyonce, actually also put quote unquote body parts on her. In the clip, Tiffany doesn't reveal exactly which body parts Sanaa put on her, but she does say that's what initially upset her. Then she got even more upset when she found out Sanaa also bit Beyonce. And that's when she was ready to fight. So the Beyonce story is this. I went to a party. Beyonce was there. And somebody was acting like they was out of order. So they was like pulling on me. And then they, they put their body parts on me. I didn't like that. And somebody was acting like they was out of order. So they was like pulling on me. And then they, they put their body parts on me. I didn't like that. Right. Then when I found out she bit Beyonce, then it was like a whole nother level to it. So I went up to Beyonce. I was like, I'm finna f party up. Yeah. I'm about to get in the fight and I just need to know did this really happen and she said yeah but she said don't do that. I was like well I don't need a selfie and then she took selfie with me and I didn't fight. In my mind she could have been real mean about it right. but she protected me. She did. And like she did. I would have for sure probably went to jail. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know I could have got beat up. And I hope B knows that that, that could have all gone very badly. Very bad. Yeah. And I wanted her to know that I, I consider her a hero. Because I was definitely going into my hood mentality. Yeah. I want you to know, I was happy that she did that. <laughs> So good for Sanaa Lathan for getting her life together and being able to sustain a good life. Y'all leave a comment. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to come on here and share something with you that I have been using for years. Um, my therapist turned me on to this technique years ago because sometimes I do struggle with anxiety. I know a lot of people are struggling with that these days. The world, the world is not an easy place right now, but um, just was sitting here and I thought maybe, maybe you guys might want to learn it for those of you who don't know it yet. It's called the physiological sigh. It's a breathing technique that um, works on your parasympathetic nervous system and it slows down the heart rate so it can help soothe the body when you're feeling anxiety or fear or just you know too hyped up before a meeting it could be anytime you're nervous I use it um, anyway so here it is you're going to breathe in as far as you can go and then you're going to do another breath on top of that breath before you exhale so it's going to look like this that was one two so that's it. And you can do it for up to five minutes. You can do it one or two times before a date. Maybe you're nervous about a date. Maybe you are nervous about a meeting. Just try it. All right. I hope y'all are having a good day. Okay.